Director of Christian Education, and I'd like to invite our children forward. Morning. Good morning, everyone. Here comes Grace. Good morning, Grace. Hi, Anna. How's everybody today? Good. Good? I'm so glad you're with me today. I have something really fun to talk with you about today. We're going to talk about gifts. Oh, yeah, I love gifts. All right. And I brought this little tiny box because, you know, they say big things come in little packages. But before we take a look in my box, I want to know, what are some of the most amazing gifts you've ever gotten? Love. Oh, wow, yes. (laughs) Billy, how about you? Your heart, your heart. Okay, I like that. Anybody else? Anybody else gotten a gift that you really love? Yes? Um, my wife. <laughs> wow. Okay, one more time. We're going to just go to Sunday school because you guys have this all done, right? How about you, Dagny? In our chest. Our heart's in our chest. Oh, your heart's in your chest. That's true. Very true. Well, I, I got to tell you, those are all amazing answers, and they have a lot to do with what we're talking about, because we get gifts that we love on our birthday and on Christmas, and that wonderful, elusive, just because, you get gifts just because, um, but I'm going to tell you about gifts today that we can't wrap up, that we can't put in a box and put a bow on, we can't and get, God. that's true, we can't wrap up God, and guess what, those are like spiritual superpowers, So we're going to talk a little bit about spiritual superpowers. And I brought my tiny little box today Uh, to see, well, I'm about to tell you, to tell you what big things can come in little tiny boxes, okay? So Gracie, you're going to help me. What's this one say? Kindness. Kindness. Kindness is a superpower. And I got to tell you, we talk about kindness a lot, don't we? But it's because it's so very important. And I can think of times when I might have had a rough day or I might be struggling and someone does something unexpectedly kind and it just turns my entire day around. That's amazing. It is amazing. (laughs) And you know, we are called, we are called to be kind to one another. And sometimes that's not very easy. It's not even easy for grown-ups, but because sometimes we feel like we're too busy to be kind. Sometimes we don't know the person who needs the kindness. Sometimes it might be someone in your class that hasn't been very kind to you. But we are still called by God to be kind. Kindness is a superpower. All right? So, Ingrid, you have a lot to say. So tell us about that one. Love. Love. We know love is a superpower. And I know you are very loved by your families. We are loved by our friends. We're loved by our church family. I love love too. And you know what? God loves us so much. But this is the important part. God needs us, wants us to share that love with each other. And do you know why love is a superpower? Because it doesn't get used up. If you're willing to share God's love with others, it just keeps growing and getting bigger and bigger. That's amazing, isn't it? It is awesome and perfect. We have one more. Marie, can you see that from? Serve others. Serve others. And how amazing that we talked about Habitat today because that's a huge thing that this church does to serve others. But I got to tell you, each one of you, even though you're not big enough to do Habitat yet, you're filled to the tippy, tippy top with God's blessings and with these amazing superpowers. Some of your gifts you're still figuring out. Because you're your kids. So you may grow up to be artists or architects. You may be musicians or mathematicians or doctors or athletes. And those things still have yet to be determined. But God has already placed inside of each one of you these amazing superpowers of kindness and helping and serving each other and love. And the most awesome thing about it is what I said about love. When we share these gifts with others... It just brings more love and more light into the world. So you're not using up your gifts. They're getting bigger and bigger. So not only do you share your love and your kindness and your your service to one another, but it fills your life up, and it makes you ready for whatever God asks you to do. Okay, so I hope you will remember every day 
that you are superheroes and you have superpowers inside you placed there by God. And no matter what, even on hard days, you are very blessed and very loved. Okay? Let's say a prayer. Dear God, we thank you for your blessing and for your extravagant love. Help us to use these amazing sacred gifts, these spiritual superpowers, to love and honor you and each other. Amen. All right, guys, walk in feet.